and tonight we're seeing new videos showing the terrifying ending of a wild police chase. Cops were pursuing a stolen van when the driver crashed head on into an Uber. Local 10's Ian Margle is live in Miami with what the video shows. Ian. Three people had to be taken to the hospital after that crash and take a look here behind me. This is where that crash ended and you can see just how much damage is left behind and how much worse this almost was. The vehicle did initially in the impact, so we saw fire, so the, 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 it did ignite the engine. So this could have been a lot more tragic. A van careening out of control and slamming into a sedan head on. This is brand new video we're seeing of the violent crash that sent three people to the hospital on Thursday. Not only because of the fact that they were in a stolen vehicle, but at the same time, perhaps they were involved in other criminal activities. The stolen vehicle in this was the white van, which Miami-Dade police tell us they spotted while doing crime prevention work near Northwest 42nd Avenue and Flagler Street. When they tried to pull the van over, the woman driving took off and with a helicopter overhead, she began speeding southbound down 27th Avenue. At the same time, the Uber was going northbound and as the van cuts over going the wrong direction, the two vehicles collide head on sending the sedan spinning and the van crashing into a building, pinning the driver inside. It was a, a complicated uh, extrication because of the fact of the intrusion. The intrusion is how, how trapped she is between, she was between the dash and the wall of the building. As for the two victims who were in the Uber, one was ejected and the second limped out moments later. Those two patients were immediately transported to the hospital, the male in stable condition, the female in critical condition with multiple uh, fractures. And the driver of that van was also in critical condition. Miami Dade police tell us once they got inside the van, they did find narcotics paraphernalia inside. And they say they are working with city of Miami police detectives on this case as well, who told them they have also been looking for a white van driven by a woman connected to burglaries here in this area. So they are now checking to see if that is also connected. Miami-Dade police, when we reached out to them earlier today to see if there was an update on the condition of those three victims, they said there was not anything they could give us. But of course, as soon as we learn anything new, we'll let you know. Live in Miami, I'm Ian Margle, Local 10 News. All right.